The Jungle Book Long ago, deep in the jungles of faraway India, there lived a wise black panther named Bagheera. One day, as Bagheera sat in a tree, he saw something surprising. Why, it's a man cub, said the panther. Bagheera was not able to care for the man cub, so he took the baby to live with the family of wolves. The wolves named the little boy Mowgli and raised him as one of their own. Ten rainy seasons came and went, Mowgli grew, and no main cup was happier than he. The creatures of the jungle were good to him, but one jungle animal did not wish Mowgli well. It was Shere Khan, the strong and cunning tiger. Shere Khan feared nothing but men's gun and men's fire. He was sure the man cub would grow up to be a hunter. Shere Khan has returned to our part of the jungle. Akela the wolf said one day. Surely he will try to kill the boy. Mowgli was no longer safe. It is time for Mowgli to return to his own kind, Bagheera said. I will take him to the man village. Hurry, Akela said. There is no time to lose. Bagheera and Mowgli started on their way. We'll spend the night here. Bagheera said as they settled down on the branch of a tree. Just then, Ka the snake appeared. He thought Mowgli would make a tasty morsel. The snake used his hypnotic eyes to put Mowgli in a trance. He wrapped the man cup in his coils. Bagheera awoke just in time to smack Ka on the head and sent him on his way. It was time to keep moving. Mowgli decided he didn't want to go with Bagheera. The jungle is my home, the man cop insisted. He went off on his way. Along the way, Mowgli saw a parade of elephants. He thought it was wonderful and wanted to march along with them. But when it came time for the elephant inspection, Colonel Hathi took a closer look at Mowgli. What happened to your trunk? asked the Colonel. Why, your man cub? he cried. Bagheera came to Mowgli's rescue. He insisted on taking him to the man village. But Mowgli refused once more. Then, from now on, you are on your own, Bagheera told him. Mowgli soon met a good-natured bear named Baloo. Baloo helped Mowgli forget his troubles. They played together, swam together, and ate sweet dried bananas and coconuts all day long. 
As the two friends floated on the river, a group of monkeys swooped down on Mowgli. They picked him up and dragged him off to the ancient city of the Monkey King. The Monkey King wanted something from Mowgli. Teach me the secret of fire, King Louis demanded. Then I can be human like you. Bagheera and Baloo arrived in time to help Mowgli escape from the monkeys. Now you see why you must leave the jungle, they pleaded. But Mowgli still did not believe his friends. He ran from them again, right into the great Shere Khan himself. I'm not afraid of you, Shere Khan, said Mowgli bravely. A storm began to blow around them. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning struck nearby. The lightning started a small fire. Mowgli grabbed a burning branch and tied it to Shere Khan's tail. The terrified tiger ran away never to be seen again. As Mowgli proudly walked through the jungle with his friends, he heard a new and beautiful sound. It was a girl from the man village singing a sweet song. Mowgli couldn't look away. He stopped walking to listen. Go on, Mowgli, Bagheera urged. Go on! Mowgli knew that he must follow the girl and her song. She smiled at Mowgli as he walked with her all the way to the village. He turned to wave goodbye to his friends. Baloo and Bagheera watched Mowgli leave. Their hearts were sad, but they knew it was as it should be. Their main cup had found his true home at last. The end. Father's hunting in the forest, mother's cooking in the home.